Okay. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I was using the wrong microphone the first time I tried to post this video, but um, this could be a pretty good talk. So I'm going to invite some people. This is uh, something that I'm going through right now. And I think the information that I have uh, to share would probably be helpful to everyone. I'm talking about avoidance energy. I don't know if you guys understand what avoidance energy is. Avoidance energy is a sophisticated form of procrastination. Okay, we all procrastinate. And uh, last time I did a video, I was talking about um, neurofeedback training on the F3 and F4 points of the scalp in order to end procrastination, right? And, uh, you know, we all, like I said, we all have reasons why we procrastinate. We have psychological, subconscious reasons why. You know, most of us are just rebellious human beings. Like, it's in the nature of a human being to be rebellious. Um, just like when a baby is two, they go through the terrible twos because they're starting to understand that not only uh, will mom or dad not necessarily come if I'm crying, um, they also won't come if I'm silently sprinkling talcum powder all over the carpet. And uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's an awakening of the self. That's an awakening of uh, coming into one's own as an, individ in, as an individual person, as an individual entity. And that comes with rebellion. You rebel. You rebel against authority. You rebel against uh, being told what to do. And those of us who have had someone tell us what to do at any point in our life, like uh, like military veterans, like my, such as myself, um, sometimes we tend to have that voice in our head uh, that's still trying to rebel against being told what to do, rebel against tyranny and domineering authority. And so we tend to um, procrastinate. We tend to avoid doing the things that we know that we should do because our motivation inside is somehow still um, coming from an external place. We're, we're, there's still that tyrant, whoever that tyrant was, a teacher or a parent or whatever, that's, uh, that's in your head. Well, that's just regular procrastination, right? We're just talking about regular procrastination. Avoidance energy is a specific type, a sophisticated type of procrastination. You're doing, uh, you are doing one of the things that you need to do in order to avoid doing the things you need to do that you don't want to do. Okay, one of my favorite books is um, by Stephen Covey, the, high, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And uh, I highly recommend uh, that you read that book and that you get a copy of it. But uh, I'm going to take a little sheet of drawing paper from my trusty old drawing pad here, if I can find a blank sheet. Um, wow. And uh, try to illustrate, well actually no, this, this is just ideas. This drawing pad is absolutely full, so I can't draw on it. That's okay. I'll use this envelope here to illustrate a technique that I learned from Stephen Covey in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Maybe I can find a nice fat tip marker to do this with. Probably not. I'll just do it with a pen. So, let's just say uh, you're a person like me who keeps a to-do list. A list of all of the things that you have to do, that you would like to do, and that you want to do, and that you have to do, right? Okay, 
uh, normally that's just a list from top to bottom. And you try to prioritize it by saying, okay, uh, some of the things that are, uh, I have to do are more important and some of the th than others and some are not. But see, there are two different aspects to having to do something, right? There's importance and urgency, right? Now, some things are both important and urgent. Like if my, you know, brain over here were to burst into flames, putting out that fire, putting out the fire in my office would be both important and urgent, right? Um, if I miss putting the garbage can out because it's Tuesday and it's garbage collection day, but my garbage can is really only like one-fourth or one-fifth full, then that's urgent, but it's not important. If I miss putting the garbage out, the garbage will sit in the can outside until next week, and by next week, it may be halfway full. So that's an example of something that's urgent but not important. So one good way to draw your... Uh, to-do list is to draw it in quadrants. Do an X like this. And then you can draw an arrow like a, like a, a, a number line, right, at the top and on one side. Okay? And then you can stratify things in order of urgency and importance. So we can say quadrant one is both urgent and important, right? Quadrant two is important but not urgent. And that's where I like to work, right? Quadrant three is urgent but unimportant. You see, importance at the top, unimportant at the bottom, urgent to the left, non-urgent to the right. And quadrant four is unimportant and not urgent. In other words, BSing, right? Partying, relaxing, uh, doing recreation, right? So you can split things up and say, all right, I have important and urgent things to do, so I'll do that first. Then I'll work on the important things that are not urgent, but I may take a little bit of time away to work on less important things that are still urgent, right? Timelines that you have to meet, uh, but don't, are not necessarily critical to what you're doing. And then lastly, uh, you're going to be dealing with things that are not important, and not urgent either, right? And I say all of that to explain that splitting up your to-do list into quadrants, uh, it does help make the process of avoidance energy um, a little bit more fun, right? Let's just say more fun. Now, would you want to avoid doing things that you have to do? Would you want to have some type of procrastination thing going on? Ideally, no. Ideally, you don't want to procrastinate at all, right? But I'll give you an example. Um, I'm about to start shooting my yoga videos. And so I'm going to be on the beach and I'm going to be in my bathing suit. And so although this is a beautiful morning, it's 1022 a.m., and I've finished with my uh, self-care, my neural feedback, and the things that I do for myself every morning. And I could sit here and call a lot of surgery centers and medical device manufacturers and uh, offer my services and remind them that they have to uh, contract with me for this year, um, for the first quarter of this year. I don't feel like it. <laughs> so the... The uh, But I don't want to waste my time, right? I don't want to just go home and watch TV and kick back. You know, I don't want to just hang out 
right, and waste time. So what you do is you find something else that you need to do that needs to be done, knowing that you're avoiding doing something for whatever reason, either because it's boring or because it sucks or because you don't want to deal with the rejection on the phone or whatever, whatever the reasons might be, right? Um, but as long as you have a good enough excuse for avoiding, then you can indulge in some avoidance energy. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to end up going to the gym, uh, having my car detailed, uh, maybe doing a couple of loads of laundry, um, wash the dishes that I left in my sink in my apartment. Um, did I mention going to the gym? Yeah, I, I go to the gym. Um, yeah, yeah. And then once that stuff is done, probably around noon in about an hour or an hour and a half or something, yes, I work quickly, then I can get my butt back here in the office and sit down and actually do the work that uh, I'm avoiding with this avoidance energy. Anyway, if you find yourself in um, in a period where you are indulging in, in, in avoidance energy, yes, you should sit down and think about what it is that you're avoiding, about what you're avoiding, so that you can work through it and and face whatever fear or or whatever you. Uh, uh, you know, whatever is making you avoid doing what it is that you avoid, or you can just go with it. And that's why it's good. Cause when you do your to-do list in quadrants like this, you end up with four to-do lists, one to-do list of urgent and important things, one to-do list of important things that are not urgent, one to-do list of unimportant things that are still urgent. And yes, they exist. And one to-do list of unimportant and non-urgent things. And so as long as you're working in quadrant one, two, or three, then you're fine because you're not procrastinating outright. You're not just wasting time to be wasting time, that you're actually getting things done that need to get done. So don't kick yourself. Don't, don't beat yourself over the head, right? If you're avoiding doing some things by doing others. Um, just keep a lot of good, constructive, positive things on your plate and keep plowing forward uh, toward your endeavors. I'm talking, but I see clients getting ready to walk into the clinic. Uh, so I'm going to have to go here in a minute. So that's all I wanted to talk about was avoidance energy. It is a very sophisticated form of procrastination. We all do it. Okay. I'm um, having a little bit of avoidance energy around my YouTube videos. I'm having a little bit of avoidance energy around straightening up this office. The whole clinic gets clean, and then my office gets to be the last thing that I actually focus and concentrate on. Um, a lot of avoidance energy. But I do need to go to the gym. I do need to have my my bod looking right for the beach. And uh, I have to give my audience what they expect from me. So that is a very important job that needs to be done. And it is rather urgent. It's not only important, it is urgent because my, uh, the energy that I have is uh, limited. And so uh, I haven't eaten breakfast, but if I go to the gym right now at 1030, I will get a very good and energetic workout done. And, uh, and then I'll eat a nice big lunch. If I wait until lunch, then I'm not as likely to work out on the full stomach as I am on an empty stomach. And if I wait until after work, after I give Kai his therapy and he goes home at 630, um, then my overall energy will not be as high as it is right now. So... Yeah, I've pretty much talked myself out of working and into working out. And that's a, that's a pretty good avoidance move right there. But uh, so that just to give you an idea, right? Um, keep your to-do list separate. Separate urgency from importance. Focus on things that are urgent and important first. 
important but not urgent, second. Urgent but not important, third. And not important and not urgent, never, right? And uh, that's pretty much all I have to share for today. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, uh, remember that we are going to be shooting um, yoga videos on the beach starting at, po at Point Doom Beach starting on uh, March 9th, not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday. And uh, those who would like to participate here in Southern California, I invite you to inbox me. Um, hopefully you have a yoga mat and you're down to participate with us. And um, if you would like to help film this event or photograph this event, uh, contact me. We are also looking for uh, fellow cinematographers and videographers and photographers. And uh, the spring is here. The warm weather is already here in Southern California. And I'm not going to waste one sunny weekend that I can possibly not waste this entire summer and this entire spring and summer this year, 2019. It's a good year. And um, so that being said, I'm going to go to the gym and get in shape. And I may actually uh, do another live video uh, later on today. But that was the class for today, avoidance energy. And I'm actually going to do a YouTube video about avoidance energy too. Uh, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, stay happy, loving, and kind, and have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you.